Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to create a simple FPS movement and camera script that will enable you to walk, run, crouch, and jump. You will also have a little crosshair on the middle. So let's get started. I will start a new project and guide you through. So we have a new empty project here. Let's start by creating the ground for the player. So let's add a 3D object plane. Let's increase the scale, like something huge. Now let's create a new object. Let's name it player. And let's add a character controller. Move it up. Let's move our main camera inside the player. And reset the position. On the while let's set 0.6. And now let's start by creating our camera script. So let's add a component, camera manager. Let's open it. Let's start by creating some variables on top. Private float horizontal sensitivity. Let's create another for the vertical sensitivity. Let's make them serializable. So we can edit them on the inspector. Let's also create a new one, private transform player camera and private float yeah and private float pitch. So let's start with our first function, void awake. Here we'll give the reference to our camera. So let's write if transform.find player camera is different to null. Player camera equals transform.find player camera. else debug dot log error player camera not found so when we start the game it will try to find the player camera if it finds we get a reference otherwise it gives an error so let's go to unity and change the camera to let it load player camera if we try that now it should work we get no error but you have the name wrong let's say and try that again we'll get an error so make sure that the name on top here is correct. Now let's continue. On the start, write cursor dot lock state equals
This will make our cursor to be locked on the screen, so we can actually look around. So let's continue. Let's create a function to get user input from the mouse. So void get input, let's say mouse input, sorry. Here you want to write yo plus equal horizontal sensitivity times input dot get axis mouse x. Now let's do the same for the pitch. You can copy this. No, there's no need. Pitch. But here, careful, you need to write less and equal. Vertical sensitivity times input dot get axis mouse y. So now we can get the inputs from the mouse. Let's create our last function void move camera. So player camera dot transform dot pillar angles equals new vector tree pitch comma player camera dot transform dot other angles dot y comma zero this will rotate the camera on the y axis and for the x axis we just need to rotate the player so let's rotate the player by doing transform dot other angles equals new vector tree yo and zero again uh sorry i wrote one zero but zero wait i wrote four zeros sorry my mistake so what this does is the first line of code will rotate on the Y, so up and down. And this one will rotate our player horizontally. Now the last things we need to do is to call the functions here, get mouse input. camera. If you save it and try to play it now. You can see you can look around up and down but you have a problem. If you look way up you'll flip around. So to fix that we need to clamp our camera so let's go back to the script and here get mouse input let's add another line pitch equals medf dot clamp pitch minus 90 to 90 you can choose other values if you want with 90, you can look straight up. If you don't want that, you can set it to 89. I like to set it to 90. So if you try that again. You can see it will clamp on top. You can't look back anymore. So that's it for our camera script. Now let's just add a crosshair. If you don't have one, you can download on the description below mine. Otherwise you can get one online or draw one yourself. I'll just drag mine into the project. I'll change 
to sprite single pixels per unit 16 point no filter none and max size 32 apply and now let's on the hierarchy right click and create a UI canvas right click UI image now I'll just drag the crosshair to our source image and change the size to let's say 40 by 40 and if you now press play you have a crosshair I will end this part here on part 2 we'll create our movement script so if you are interested in that check part 2 and I'll see you on the next video